Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is how to customize the Dynamics GP toolbar. So the toolbar is the section here at the top of your screen and when you first log in a lot of people will just have this toolbar and they don't know what it is and they don't use it. So we're going to talk about what comes up, how to change it and make it work for you. So my user is really a payables person. You'll see that on all my, my shortcuts. And what I'm seeing though, unfortunately, is just a bunch of things for financial. So I want to change that. What I can do is I can right click right over the blue bar and I can turn off financial and I'm going to right click over that bar and I'm going to pick purchasing. Now what I don't like is I don't like how each of those are just a little icon and I have to wait and mouse over and wait for it to tell me what it is. So we're going to customize it even further. If you don't like the right clicking, you can actually click right here where it says layout. If I mouse over, it looks like a big gray letter L. And that will let you go into the toolbars and also customize them that way. So it's either right clicking or clicking that layout button, going to toolbars, and going down to customize. So right now I only have turned on the ones that have an asterisk next to them. So I have main on and I have purchasing on. So we're going to go to purchasing and I don't work with purchase orders so I'm going to delete that I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete that and I'm going to add vendor maintenance because I have to add all the new vendors so I'm going to click on cards purchasing and vendor and click OK and then I also want to change the name for this one so we're going to modify selection and change the name and call this AP transaction entry now if I click OK real quick, you're going to see it. I have one that says Vendor, that's perfect, and that's because in this Customize, what you can do is you can actually change this. So we're going to go to Purchasing, and I'm going to go to Modify, and I can make it show Image and Text. So we're going to do that for all of these, Image and Text, and then I'm going to go Image and Text, and I'm going to add another one. Now that I'm looking here, I realized I also use this inquiry all the time. I use Inquiry, Purchasing, Transaction by Vendor and I'm going to say modify an image and text. I can also modify this and add a divider line and I'm going to move that up to the top and click OK. So now you see there's a divider right between my original toolbar and the new one that I added and these each will open up those windows. This feature will work no matter where I'm at in GP. I'll still see my toolbar, I can still open those windows. One quick thing to mention is if you do change the name of an item in your toolbar it actually changes it um, globally for your user ID. So AP transaction entry now lists it as AP transaction entry. But that'll help you out for finding out what the buttons are for. This is the basics of changing your toolbar. You can add additional items in here by just clicking on them. Now I have a standard toolbar and I could customize it the same way as I did my AP. But basically it's just a quick way for you to open the windows you use most often. For more great Dynamics GP tips and tricks, visit www.calzone.com tips and sign up for our monthly e-newsletter.